Hi guys, what's up? My name is BigNonTFi, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video, and today we are back in the Skeldon Minecraft, and today I've actually started this um, quite zoomed out, because I wanted to show you that all of our task tutorials have kind of just made like a circle around the Skeld, which I find quite funny. Uh, but yeah, so today is actually the last time we're going to be on the Skeld, or well, we're going to be doing a task tutorial on the Skeld, or a, a, a task on the Skeld. Um, and yes, because that is, today is actually going to be the last task, the only task that we haven't done yet, and that is going to be the unlock manifold task. Every single other task we've done, uh, obviously only tasks, not sabotages. Um, yeah, so now we're on to the last one, but before we start, I would like to remind you of something that I haven't reminded you in quite a while, and that is that, uh... Th that is that 99.9% .9 of people who have ever died in their life were not actually subscribed to my channel. And that's obviously according to YouTube statistics, I didn't make that up. Uh, so yeah, I think you should definitely subscribe to my channel. Uh, because, yeah, because you want to not die, obviously. But anyways, let's get into the tutorial. So, as you can see, over here we have our lovely Unlock Manifolds task. And before I show you what it looks like in Minecraft, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the actual game, so it's on your screen right now. And then this is what it looks like in Minecraft. So what we're going to do first is we're going to just grab a block, and then we're going to chuck it into this hopper. And now that has activated the task, so as you can see, we have three buttons here, and next to the buttons, we have signs with numbers on them. So we have one, two, and three, and they're all in like different orders. So like if it was like uh, in the right order, it'd be one, two, and then three, but it's it's three, one, two. Uh, so first we're going to press the one button, then we're going to press the two button, and then we're going to press the three button. And now it says task completed, yay. And if we do it in any other order, so I can chuck a block in here, if I do it, if I do it like two, one, three, that's not gonna work. Uh, if I do it three, one, two, that's not gonna work. Uh, so yeah, you need to, you need to do it, uh, one, two, three. Uh, and I will explain how to make this task in, uh, in, well, right now, I guess. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. That is what I'm going to be teaching you how to do today. Uh, yeah, let, let's go. I guess we'll do it like there. Alright, so as you can see, I am at my little demo set of the Unlock Manifolds task, and I'll let you look at it for a second if you want to build it yourself. Uh, so yeah, that is it there. And the first thing we are going to do is place a oh, place a hopper right about here, in front of the middle sign. Uh, just in the ground there. And then we're going to come underneath by a few hoppers. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to get some redstone -y stuff. So I'll just get some uh, comparators, repeaters, I'll get uh, some dust. Uh, I'll get some pistons as well, I guess. And what we're going to do is we are going to come down here and I'm just... Oh, okay, I'm going to grab some grey concrete and I'm just going to chuck that there. And we're going to place a comparator facing into this hopper right here, and make sure that there are no hoppers underneath here, and if there are, just break them. Um, so yep, facing into this hopper, and right after that, we're going to place a repeater, and in that repeater, we are just, so we're just going to leave that for now, but the, what we're going to do now is just break away this line of blocks that's behind um, the buttons, like this, and we're going to place the repeaters um, in, behind the buttons, so that's a button repeater, and then the middle one I can't really do at the moment, so I'll just, I'll put, okay, I might just break this so I can do it, um, so that goes there, and this goes there, okay, perfect, and now I can put this back, right, so right here, we are going to have a piston, and on that piston there will be a block, and we'll just make that the block, 
Uh, and now we're going to grab this repeater and we're just going to take it up into the piston. So from here, I guess I can go this way and yeah, okay. Just like that. And now we'll just trail it up like this. So now once there is an item in here, this piston will go up. Okay. Right, so now behind this uh, line of redstone, we are going to put some uh, some more blocks, and we're going to put just some redstone dust and then a repeater. Uh, and I'll, I'll put the repeater one block earlier, in fact. Okay, and now we are going to get a note block, we're going to get an emerald block, like this, and then we're going to get a command block. So I'll just pick block one from over here. Right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put the command block in the middle, or, well, it doesn't really matter, but just the command block in front of the repeater, then we're going to put an emerald block with a note block on top of it, so now what should happen is this repeater should activate both of them when it is lit up. Okay, so what this command block is going to do is it is going to, um, this is, it is going to clone a block to right here, and then behind here we're going to have another trail of redstone. So I'll get my redstone dust, and I'll just do it this way. I'll put a repeater this way. And then right here, there's going to be a command block, a block of emerald, and a note block, like this. So basically, what we're doing here is, this is the first button that needs to be pressed. And we're just making sure that there is an item in the hopper, so the task has been activated. Uh, so if you press that button by itself, then it won't work because this piston isn't up. But once that piston is up, then the button will work and it'll it'll send a command to this, which will put a block right here, which will allow this to work. Um, and this is the second button that you need to press. And then this will, will um, that will make a block go to here. And then this will be the third button we need to press and that will finish the task. Uh, so that's pretty. That's a pretty simple overview of what we're doing here. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do the thing over here. So just put that there. Chuck that in. And repeater. Put a command block. Or actually, I won't. I'll, I'll leave that for now because that's that's not going to be the same as those two. All right. So now let's fill in this command block or these command blocks. So in this one, we're going to write slash fill. And then we're going to go here and get the coordinates of this block here. So, minus 24, 18, 121. Minus 24, 18, 121. Minus 24, 18, 121. And then we're going to repeat that. Again, because it's only one block that we're filling. And then at the end, you're just going to write stone or grass or, or any, other, any other block, really wood planks. Um, so now once this is activated, it is going to send a, it's going to send a block to here, and then that button will work, and that'll set off this command, which will send a block to here. So let's do that. Slash fill. And then this over here is minus 20, 17, 121. Minus 20, minus 20, 17, no, it's 18. 18, 121. Yep, okay. That is right. And then I'll do that again. 18, 121. And then finish it off with stone. Alright, so let's let's see if this works. So if I throw an item in into here, then that piston goes up. Okay, so now when I press this, uh, that goes, that makes a nice sound, and then that cloned a block to there. So now when I do this one, it should be okay, center blocks are there, and then after that, um, all the command blocks will go, and it'll reset all the Alright, so now we're going to come over here, and we're just going to place two pieces of redstone dust, and then a repeater. And then we're going to do another one of our uh, note blocks with emeralds underneath it. And then we're going to go three blocks past that, repeater, 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 and just pull them all the way back. Just like that, and then right here, we are going to have a bunch of command blocks, in fact three, so one, two, three, and then right here we're going to have a gold block with a note block on top of it, and that's going to make a bell sound. 
Okay, so this one, this command block is going to say slash title at p title task completed and exclamation mark. All right, and then these two are going to be slightly more complicated. So this one is going to be slash fill. And then we're going to get the coordinates of this block. So it was minus 24, 18, 121. Minus 24, 18, 121. Minus 24, 18, 121. Minus 24, 18, 121. And we're just going to say here. So now that will, instead of making a stone block appear here, it will get rid of the stone block. So uh, this is resetting the task now. And then you might have guessed, but this command now, or no, this command is going to do the same thing, but for that block. So I can kind of remember this. It was slash, or slash fill minus 20. Was it 20? Let's check. It was... It was minus, yeah, 20. Minus 20, 18, 121. Minus 20, 18, 121. Minus 20, 18, 121. Yeah. So, now, the very last thing we need to do is we need to actually um, get rid of the block that's in there to turn off the piston. So, we're going to make a staircase. We're just going to make a staircase down from here, like that, and just snake it around into somewhere near your hopper, pretty much like what I've done, and I'll just do that, and that, and like that. Right, so now we're going to get a piston, a sticky piston, and a dropper, like that, and also a hopper, I'll just pick block that one. And now we're going to place a piston, a sticky piston, facing, uh, like, this far away from underneath the hopper, and we're just going to put a hopper that is facing downwards onto this piston. So it needs to be facing downwards, can't be facing into the piston. Uh, and then we're going to put a hopper underneath, and then a dropper, like that. Okay, so then we're just going to redo this redstone so it comes into the piston, like this, and now what's going to happen is this piston is going to extend, so the hopper is going to come to here, and then when it de-extends, de it's going to go back into here and then down into the dropper, and then we're going to get a comparator and a repeater, and we're going to make this little circle square shape uh, around our dropper. We're going to place a comparator facing into it, a redstone dust, repeater, and then redstone all the way back around into it, like this. And what this has done now is this is a automatic dropper, so if I put an item in, it will get automatically dropped out. And now, down here, if I just place a few blocks around here, around this uh, dropper, we are going to make a hole into the void, just like this. And I'm just going to make it a 3x3, because sometimes uh, droppers they don't really work, they like they work, but they're a bit inaccurate. So I'm just gonna do that. Uh yeah, and now I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that this is the entire task completed, but let's check. So uh I'll get rid of all of this stuff, and then I'll get rid of the item that's in here, and let's see if this all works. So let's chuck our item into here. And the piston went up. Now one, two, and three. Task completed. Okay, that's a good sign. Now, has everything reset? Okay, these blocks are gone. The item in here is gone. And I think we are pretty much now exactly done. So that was quite a short task tutorial for our, long, for our last one. Uh, it might actually be the shortest because um, I guess like the shortest would have been like... Would have been like maybe the, maybe the wires or the trash task. Uh, but yeah, that was, a, that was a really short one as well, so... Yeah, anyways guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, because, you know, you don't want to die. Uh, and until the next time, I will see you all later. Goodbye.